Hello and welcome to today's Cosmic Connections, where we're going to look at today's planetary movements and see how their energy and influence may guide us through the day. Today we see a shift in the seasons as we celebrate the equinox. The autumn equinox is a time when the hours of daylight and nighttime are equal. It is a turning point, a halfway point through the astrological year. The energy begins to shift in new directions, guiding us to change and evolve and grow in new ways. It is the beginning of harvest season where we begin to harvest the things we have grown before the cold season to come. A solar equinox is the moment in time when the sun crosses the earth's equator, meaning the earth neither tilts towards or away from the sun. It is the opening of a new season, a new cycle, and a time of celebration and renewal. After this point, we enter darker days as the nights lengthen and the days shorten until the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year. It is a time of shedding, ready to move forward into harvest. We begin to see what is most important to us, what we want to spend our energy doing, and where we desire to put our intentions. This allows us to shed and release and let go of the things that are restricting or limiting the movement we can clearly see coming. A beautiful shift in energy to allow us to embrace the things we need to shed and leave behind and celebrate where we have come from. Organizing and planning how we are going to harvest what we need in the season ahead. A day to work on balancing, aligning, and finding more harmony in our being, in our presence, and in our existence. A time to celebrate ourselves and the world around us and give thanks for all that has come and will come again. Now let's look at the planetary aspects. Before the moon leaves Sagittarius, she makes two square aspects. The first with Neptune and Pisces. Neptune and Pisces. In retrograde motion, this challenging connection of the half moon in Sagittarius with Neptune and Pisces is going to amplify this square aspect as the half moon is when the moon is square the sun, which just so happens to be our second square aspect of the day. Neptune in Pisces has been about adapting our dreams and allowing us to see them from the illusions of our conditioning. This has allowed us to discern our own dreams from those that we may feel we must have due to past versions of ourselves and the expectations of others. By discerning which dreams are our own, we are able to see which we have been swimming in the direction of others, have us swim, and maybe not in the direction we ourselves would like to swim. This shift of focus has allowed us to close out cycles that are attached to our past expectations and societal conditioning, freeing us, freeing up space for us to swim in our own currents of alignment with our own dreams. Neptune is also connected to our belief systems and our spirituality in all our forms. So there is this deeper level of connection to our core beliefs and the religions and spiritual practices we follow in our past, present, and future. This connection of our beliefs has allowed us to discern which things we believe true and which things are the beliefs of others and the societies we live in. This has given us the ability to really shift into our own beliefs, allowing us a freedom to swim in our own ways. A lot of the time our beliefs are what hold us back from our dreams. So we have been able to illuminate which beliefs restrict our dreams and which dreams restrict our beliefs. This square aspect between Neptune in Pisces and the Sagittarius half moon is really going to ask us to make some choices in how we are going to turn up going forward. We are continually asked if we want to work towards our dreams, if we want to take intentional steps forward. We are continually asked as we are continually growing and adapting. There is no perfect time to act towards our dreams. If we wait to act, we sit on our dreams and allow them to become illusions, things we will do when the time is right. But if we act on our dreams, they become something we live, something we swim through. They become an incorporation of our lives and our beliefs. This square aspect is asking us if we are going to trust the process and step into the flow of our being, into our expansion, or are we going to sit in illusions waiting for the right time, procrastinating and setting limits on our on our expansion and growth. The next aspect we see is the waxing half moon in Sagittarius where the sun on the border of Virgo and Libra connects with the moon in a square aspect 
an aspect of challenge and tension. This half moon in Sagittarius is asking us to believe in our good luck. Sagittarius is a sign of shooting towards our dreams, our adventures, embracing change and going for it, helping us to be successful in taking the little steps forward by concentrating on the little things we move a great distance. This first quarter moon is when the sun and the moon meet in square aspect, bringing together the practical, logical, organized energies of the Virgo sun and the visionary, freeing, adventurous energies of Sagittarius to challenge us to make a choice. These energies must find a compromise in order to turn a corner. So this integration of our practical, logical side and our free, adventurous, spontaneous side need to integrate and act together to enable us to make a choice and act on it. It is a time to look at where we stand and have faith that we understand and know what we want to do. We know the universe will meet us halfway. We know we have the power to build and grow our dreams. Now the moon is asking you to make a choice. Either get behind your dreams or don't dream at all. This energy of, li of the liberating self from ourself and allowing us to stand in the presence in our beliefs of self is going to be very freeing and liberating energy after the new moon in Virgo, which was last Friday. That asked us to take responsibility for our being and to get stuff done. So this quarter moon is freeing us to believe. We must believe in something to enable its growth. A very powerful quarter moon that can challenge us in the choices we make, but also allow us to open up and, un and unfold in ways we never believed we would be capable of doing. This validation of our beliefs is going to give us the confidence to be, to believe, to push forward for ourselves. Beautiful energy to challenge us to begin to shed those limitations of the past, connecting very well with the other shifting energies of the day, the connection with Neptune, our dreams, the support and abundance we are being provided to help us shift into our next season. Next, we see the moon move into Capricorn, the cardinal energy sign, the sea goat that can swim to the depths of the oceans and climb to the top of the highest mountains, the archetype of perseverance and focusing on the next best step forward, allowing growth to build on each step we make, a powerful initiating energy that drives us into action Action that is consistent, broken down into each step forward, growth through dedication. We see this half moon now in Capricorn connect with Saturn in Pisces. Saturn in Pisces has been all about bringing fluidity to the foundational energies and the routines, practices, and principles we live by, allowing us to free ourselves from the restrictions we place on ourselves from the past, present, and the expectations of the future. While in retrograde motion, Saturn in Pisces has been focusing on how these inner restrictions restrict us from being in the flow of our cycles. Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac and associated with spiritual ascension that cumulative energy that has led us to self-acceptance and the ability to simply be. This has allowed us to step into the flow of our existence in more free, freeing, flexible forms. This harmonizing connection of the half moon in Capricorn is going to be asking us to integrate these actions and steps forward that build us to the places we want to go but in a way that works with our responsibilities in, the, in our day-to-day -day existence, allowing us to challenge the ways we persevere to ensure they are support, supportive to our overall growth. Sometimes that need to keep going can actually be very detrimental as we restrict ourselves by overexerting ourselves or missing things because we haven't taken a minute to step back and see the bigger picture. This sextile connection is asking us to integrate our hard work with our boundaries, allowing us to establish boundaries that will enable a balance 
to our work life flow, enabling us to make time for rest, regeneration, and action. Mutable energy meeting cardinal energy to initiate change that will ground us in our being in this moment and allow us to see with clarity, giving us the ability to integrate our routines, boundaries, and structures to get the best out of our growth, our energy, our time, allowing us to bring action that flows, allowing us to make to move past the restrictions and make the changes we have decided we must take. The final movement we see today is the sun move from Virgo to Libra. Libra is a sign of balance, of harmony, connected to the relationships we have on an individual level, including the relationship we have with ourself. It is a time of balance as we work towards bringing our lives into harmony as we step into the next season. As a cardinal sign, Libra opens the season and brings the energy of initiation, action, drive forward, empowering us to move into action to bring balance and harmony to our lives. Libra represents the flow between giving and receiving and allows us to bring to equilibrium how we use our energy, time, and resources. This allows us to make sure we are not draining ourselves by putting everything into one area. Libra represents the self within, within the other, the who that we become in the many different relationships in our lives. We are different aspects of ourselves with different people, depending on the relationships we have with them, and it's important to remember that everyone sees us differently. As we look at where our values stand and how we are using our energy, time, and resources, we are able to see how these things are reflected in the kinds of relationships we have allowing us to see where we are bringing toxic energy to our relationships in the forms of expectations and expressions and where others are doing the same, allowing us to see our relationships as they are and enabling us to bring balance to them, shedding the ones that no longer align and renewing the ones of value. As the energy of balance and release is heavy around us, it is a wonderful time to commit to the changes we want to make for the season ahead, allowing ourselves to see how we can balance our actions, balance our goals, and shed the things that are holding us back. A powerful day full of shifting energy that is going to leave us in a whole new place, ready to begin the next cycle ahead. For some, this shift is going to be quite dramatic, a tower moment of such where our lives shift in a new direction, one that will bring us back into balance with ourselves and our values. For others, this shift is going to feel liberating as we shed the past like the leaves that fall from the trees to renew and replenish the soil below the things we shed can replenish ourselves too. This shift of seasons with all its accompanying energies is going to enable us to move in new directions, activating us to step into those new cycles we have been thinking about that we have been working towards. A beautiful day to celebrate and embrace ourselves in all our changing forms. Until tomorrow, goodbye my friends.